going to cover the different account structures between these three cloud providers here, AWS, Azure, and Google. For that, I put together this diagram. And I'm going to actually start in the middle because I think that's where most people are used to working with. So with AWS, you have an AWS account, and that's what you usually log into. And underneath the account, that's where you provision all your resources, OK? So your account is kind of containing all the resources. That's also where billing kind of happens, OK? Uh, Azure, OK, you have a subscription. And the subscription is kind of like an AWS account, uh, at least on that level. And that's where the billing also happens. But with Azure, underneath the subscription, there's something called a resource group. It's essentially, essentially a logical container, so you can group all your resources together. It's just basically like a namespace. You can think about it like that, OK? And um, then for Google, at this level, you have projects. And that's what most people are used to working with, too. You just usually you have your assigned a Google project, and you can create your resources underneath the Google project. So only Zero has that, this additional layer of, of resource groups. And there's some pros with that, and there's some cons with that. It's just a lot of people, when they're, let's say, going from AWS or Google to Zero, they go, oh, resource groups, one more thing I have to deal with. But then they'll realize that resource groups actually really nicely kind of group all your resources together. And you can see all your resources, resources let's say, belong to an app or an environment. Uh, all together very kind of clearly, and you can actually delete them all together too. Okay, um, but uh, those are the, at that level. That's the equivalent, basically component. Okay, now uh, Google. I should actually point out uh, projects is not built to projects. Billing is actually built at the organization level. So, so that's a slight difference in in, uh, in basically that level for uh, Google. Okay, now above these resources are there. You just don't see them. Okay, uh, these components are there. Uh, AWS above the account has organizations and also organization units. So organization is like the all encapsulating basically a root level component. And underneath organization, there are organization units, sometimes called OUs. And they're supposed to basically be a way for you to group essentially departments together or maybe even companies together, okay? Like subdivisions, okay? Uh, in Azure, you have the top level item, which is the root. That's the all encapsulating container of everything. Underneath there, you have essentially management groups. And you can think of management groups and organization units and Google folders as folders. There's essentially ways to kind of organize basically divisions, departments, or even companies and subdivisions together, OK? And for Google, at the very top level is the organization. So there you have it. This is like the uh, equivalent kind of components of the hierarchy between these uh, kind of three cloud providers. OK, hopefully that's helpful. Cheers.